And we begin tonight as we began last night with with an R. Kelly interview, a new R. Kelly interview. I never imagined that R. had more to give after the show he put on for Gail King yesterday, but he did. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> this morning on CBS, part two of the R. Kelly interview. I hope there's a part three. I hope there are a thousand parts to this because I can watch this every day. <laughs> R. Kelly is a very strange man. He told Gail King, he said people were stealing all his money, so three weeks ago he went to the bank said this was the first time he'd been to the bank in his life. Can you imagine? 52 years old, first time he's been to a bank. Why are these pens chained to this desk? This is not... <laughs> the police should be looking at this instead of me. Anyway, R. Kelly claims people have been stealing his money, so he went to his local Bank of America to see if he could find it. I was so tired of not knowing where my money was, where my publishing is. Isn't that on you, then? Huh? Isn't that on you? A lot of it's on me. That you didn't know where your money is? A lot of it's on me. And people say he doesn't but have money because he had to pay so much in settlements. What do you say about that? Lie. <laughs> he really knows how to sell it. R. Kelly, by the way, is currently in jail. He was taken into custody yesterday for failure to pay child support. He went straight from Gail to jail. And <laughs> it's very interesting the way he speaks to Gail King because there's, there's one person interviewing him, Gail, but he makes his case to everyone in the room but her. How can I pay child support? How? If my ex-wife is destroying my name and I can't work, how can I work? How can I get paid? How can I take care of my kids? How? Your ex-wife... Use is... your common sense. Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me, y'all. I'm fighting for my life. Y'all killing me with this They lie on the internet. They post a picture on Instagram and say flawless, and they've been in the mirror for two hours, beating their face. So I think the point you're making is, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you have never held anybody against their will. You know how easy it is, Gail? 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 Do you know how easy it is for somebody to get on the blogs, P-L-O-O-O-O-G, to get on the blogs and, and type some stuff and push some stuff up, 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 up in there in the computer? Well, I'm, I'm Anybody can make up a story on the internets and on the Facebooks. If I was supposed to do all of this stuff, what, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80 women, I trapped. Why, 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 why would I do that? Oprah friend, why would I do that? Why would I trap this? I'm die. Why would I do that? You sound like you're playing the victim here. These people trying to assassinate my character. Your ex-wife says Three, you abused her, Robert. 13 lies. <laughs> <Lying. laughs> Gotta hand it to him. He's playing this pretty cool. One point, I think he was yelling at the plant in the background, right? <laughs> he cried, he yelled. It was almost like he was trying to get a spot in the Supreme Court. And it got wilder from there as he reminisced about his marriage of 13 years. You're 13 years being married. I flew in on a helicopter. I flew in on a helicopter. Yes. Yes. Can somebody give us some tissue? I don't want no tissue. I'm a lean. Look, man, look. I'm telling y'all. I flew in on a helicopter with a damn puppy and I... Ate the puppy? I don't know what. I don't know who decided to trust this man with a puppy on a helicopter, but that person should be in jail today, too. And this is the masterstroke, I thought. So to defend himself against allegations of weird and illegal and inappropriate sexual relationships, to prove he's a normal and respectful guy, R. Kelly brought in both of his live-in girlfriends to support him. What is your relationship, both of you, with, with, with R. Kelly? We're with him. That's yeah, our relationship. We're with him. Yeah, we that's what it him. is. <laughs> and we're in a relationship with him. Right. We just said it. Uh -huh. A both. very strong relationship as both well. Both of you. Yes, yes, most definitely. Right, most definitely. <laughs> It's no different than The Bachelor. He's got a helicopter, he's got a puppy, he's got a couple, multiple girlfriends living in the house. The only difference really is they have sex and The Bachelor doesn't, I guess. But <laughs> with all this craziness happening, it's easy to forget that R. Kelly is a musician and I think it's important to remind everyone of that. So we put something together today that combines both his interview with Gail King and his biggest hit. I believe I can lie. I believe I can 
buried alive. How can I get paid? Spread my wings and I flew in on a helicopter. I believe I can fly. Uh, yeah, so there you go. That's available on my team. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry. What? Y'all just don't want to believe the truth. You don't want to believe it. Welcome to CBS This Morning. We're going to begin with your big explosive interview. He actually said he welcomed the opportunity to speak. Yeah. And boy, did we let him speak. I am surprised that you agreed to do it. Why are you sitting down with us today? Because I'm tired. <clears throat> I'm tired. I'm tired of all the lies, the shit I'm hearing in the barbershops. I'm tired. I'm tired. I didn't Is this camera on me? Yes, it's on. That's stupid. Use your common sense.